Doesn't Anaxotar have like a plus 300 defense thing? Okay, they've just... Wow, that's a lot of minerals. Expanded down that way. I want you three here, actually. Ten months of money left. Although that requirement is about to go down a bit. Construction completed. Optimal world. Hammer Lord is finished. Okay, so you're still producing all of your people. Now, the question was, is there a mineral processing plant? No, because we don't have the administrative array. You're still a deployment post. What point can I upgrade you? Need five pops. We have one, two, three. My population takes so long to grow. Hey, Ben! Alright, three ships are here. 150,000 with the 50% uh, bonus against the uh, crisis, guys. Actually, let's wait until our ships actually, you know arrive together. With high level admirals, pretty well kitted out ships with dragon armor. The only thing I'm a little bit unsure about is my weaponry, but this is going to give me a lot of information, so that's really what I'm after at this stage is info. Alright, that will do. Let's go and have you guys warp in. And see what we can see. All right, there goes the first two. 113,000, they're bombarding. They are using hyper shields. They do have shields and armor. Armor damage. Armor damage. They're almost entirely armor damage. Which is unfortunate because I need a lot more shields in that case. But they seem fairly balanced in terms of their defenses. with a slight leaning towards armor. Yeah, so I need to refactor into shielding. <laughs> now you're top of the list. Hey, Lars, man. <laughs> Talks about home territory bonus against them in not home space. Yeah, I know, I know, don't worry. I know I am not playing optimally. I am fully aware of the Engaging fact I'm not playing optimally. Forces. It's because I've fought this before and I don't particularly want to like say, oh yeah, I can use for knowledge to beat everything. That's just boring. Like, we should do a lot of damage, so my ships aren't terribly equipped. We do have anti-hull and shields from that. Unfortunately, we are pretty reliant on armor, but we can refactor two shields, as I said. We've still got the autonomous um, ship stuff, and that doesn't seem to have affected us yet. Um, what kind of weaponry am I packing? Anti-shield. Anti-shield. Okay, I actually have a lot of anti-shield. Construction completed. Lots of flashing lights. And I have another fleet still due to come in. They've just arrived. So the long-range guns from these guys are going to be engaging at this point. They are definitely going down pretty quickly. Seven ships left. Two. Dead. Good. So we won our first engagement. We're going to take out the transport fleet before they actually land here. I think that's going to be pretty important. Then I need to grab one of my nearby scientists. Valanoma, we must remember to put you back in Valanoma to go and research that. What are we likely to get from it? Mm, nothing hugely important. So yeah, once you three have destroyed their transports, we will go and refit. That's right, try and run away. Unfortunately for you, you're already locked into combat, so you're not going to be able to.
They did. Okay, so with that, we now need to return. Oh crap! There's a. I could build more ships, or I could build a gateway. It's one or the other. I kind of feel like I need a gateway down here in Zach Barnett. My pay is quite a long way away. And so are these. Probably out here somewhere. Which means I'm not going to be able to, like, auto instantly reinforce. And then, yes, the refit. Okay, so, Corvettes. We're currently doing shield and not armor. We don't want armor, we actually want shields. We have maximum everything. Oh, no, we don't have sensors up. Fire rate and evasion. Um... Energy Siphon is a hundred armor. I can do quantum missiles. They didn't have any point defense, did they? So yeah, actually missiles is a great plan. I don't have the best missile tech, but there's something certainly something I can focus on. Plasma. Could be something like that. Destroyers. They do not use point defense. Correct. Energy is running low. Yes, I'm well aware that energy is running low. They don't have any small chips. So there's no point having small weapons if you can avoid it. You can't use missiles at all. So the destroyers are just going to be neutron launchers. Oops. And plasma, I guess. Afterburn. Yes, that's a Actually, that's an excellent point. I should totally be using afterburners on the uh, small ships. That's a very good point. Uh, in fact, maybe even on you. That's a minus 20. So we'll go with one armor. Uh, Corvette afterburner instead of the shield regen. Cruisers. Using artillery. Yeah, I think this is going to be best. I mean, we could have you using neutron launchers, plasma cannon, quantum missiles, and then plasma. And the cruiser's are already using a lot of shields. Fortunately, I don't have the. Uh, Power for this. Fire rate and range or fire rate and chance to hit? Like all of my stuff is really quite accurate with the actually with the exception of the uh, plasma. So I'm not sure I need the chance to hit. Oh yeah, I could do an artillery core here. You're right. So I'm doing no shield damage at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. So maybe I should be using neutrons to burn through the armor and hull. And then the, like, 
other weapon for anti-armor. Or anti-shields, rather. So these should really be gauss cannon. Unfortunately, the Gauss Cannon accuracy is a lot lower. Use a Reactor Boost. Uh, my Reactor Boost tech is crap. No, I think I'm going to go with the armor. I'm going to change you into a Gauss Cannon too. Right, battleships. You're using everything large, good. Tachyon Lance is armor and hull. Archimeter is just completely ignores all defenses. And then this Giga Cannon kills shield. So I've actually got the highest tech. Actually, I've got Tachyon and Giga at high. Meter is 100% accuracy. Alright. And then neutron launchers. So we're definitely going to need something to burn through the shields. Shields are going to be the problem. And then... More shielding. I don't think I need the chance to hit. I'm going to take the shield capacitor instead. And now, I... Yeah, I can't afford this. It's going to have to be that. I need better um, power. Titans! Perdition is the only weapon I have available, which actually works, that's fine. Neutron launchers. Inspiring presence is a fire rate bonus. Hull and armor regen. Enemy shield hit point reduction. There we go. That's what we need. And then, shield capacitor. We're just doubling down on the shields as much as we can. Alright, so yeah, the, the thing we're going to be struggling with are shields. to be Gauss Cannon. Actually, are uh, these? These are also anti-shield. Hang on. 50. They also do extra hull damage. 7.5. Yeah, we're going to go Stormfire. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to make you entirely just Stormfire ca Auto Cannon. With Advanced Afterburner so you can get close. And then Shields. I mean, relying on a heavy evasion for you. Oops. I think I will go with one level four and then a level six. Yeah. That works. Yeah, I know auto f uh, Stormfire autocannons have really low range, but these guys are fast, so I'm, I'm really not concerned about that. Plus they have the afterburners. I mean, I could even do it on here. The problem is they're also small slots. They're really not going to do a lot of damage. No, we're going to be relying on the Gorse Cannon, so... I have so many heavy weapons. 
I think I'm going to focus the cruisers on anti-shield. The cruisers are going to be there for the anti-shield killing. Except the cruisers are slow. Shields are the first thing that needs to go down. There should be the uber long range. Kinetic batteries. You know what? We're going to make you artillery. As far as we can. <laughs> Um, and you're currently using the weapon range thing. Five short, are you kidding me? You're using relatively small weapons, we're going to go with that. Whoops, can't afford that. There we are. Perfectly! Perfect! So the cruisers and the corvettes are going to be the anti-shields, then everything else is anti-armor. It'll do. Alright, so... All of you lot need to go and repurpose. That's a really long way. No, go to Zach Barnett. Once we get to Zach Barnett, hopefully we'll have a gate built. That was a good first engagement. We killed one of their fleets. I'll take that. The upgrades aren't too expensive. And that was with the largest fleet. So if the largest fleet is going to cost me 600 to upgrade, it's fine. Oh, and my admirals are all level 9s now. Ah, stats. Right, yeah, we should probably have been looking at this. So, all of my destroyers died. The cruisers did pretty well. Oops, I paused. The cruisers actually did really well. Interesting. So did the corvettes. So the destroyers just got annihilated. The corvettes and the cruisers didn't get touched. And a couple of the battleships. Interesting. So, actually, my... Corvette tank is pretty good. Yeah, I know you build a platform then the gateway. That's part of the reason I'm saving money. Maybe phase out destroyers if you don't use point defense. That is very true. I mean, yes, I, I will definitely be rebuilding Construction the complete. nature of my fleets. And if most of the destroyers died anyway, I think I'll just go ahead and do that now. How many destroyers do I have? Three is literally the most. So we're going to go with three in each of my fleets. In fact, I could even go with just one destroyer and then just spread in between them. Once they all arrive in the system, I'll do that. Or I could just disband them. I could just disband them. I probably will just disband them. There's only three ships. Production targets have ended. Well, continue them! It's not like I'm short on influence. Locken made peace with Decron. Governing ethics shift in Locken. Alien Freedom Party have now embraced. They are now xenophilic. Interesting. That means they'll like me more. Although they're still going to be at like minus a thousand. Because everyone hates me. I'm out of energy. That's fine. Energy lost. Does that reduce science? Yes, that halves science. Alright. Let's go and do the thing which I really dislike doing, but I need to. Oh, 
Oh, I can finally build this system. Oh, need to do that. Hasselhofer needs to be built. So does Ben McMahon. Remind me, two planets need rebuilding. I totally forgot about Ben McMahon. Colossal. Thankfully, I hadn't set up any of the mining in those two places yet. Because that would have been a lot of stuff. That's three. Totem Wolf also needs a guy. In fact, I think I just need to go through each of them and just say, right, what are you missing? I have the minerals right now for it. 161. I don't even know if I'm going to make this. I might well need to trade. Oh, you know what I can do? We're fine. We're fine. I need to do this to sort out my deficit. And then I have a... Uh, an ace up my sleeve that I can use. Because I don't believe I've used it for a while. I don't actually have that many mineral producers left. Slowly phasing them out for energy. Hundred and nineteen still short. Blimey. Although does that include a energy production reduction? No, just minerals. Right, we need to go to sectors. And I need to say, hey, you with your 24,000 energy. I'll take some of that. And you with your 14,000 energy. I'll take some of that too. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> And that's how you abuse sectors. Right, let's go and make sure all the population are here. You're not. Build energy. Signs all here. Hasselhofster needs to be built. So we're going to do the buildings which are here already. Then we're going to do the buildings that we need, like the control center. And the deployment post. And uplink node. And stronghold. Oh, that's a plus two. Alright, we'll build stronghold here. It's fine. And then here we'll put a mining network. Here's going to be science. It's going to be mining. Oh, I've already got a fortress. Uh, you don't need to be a fortress. Cancel. Cancel. I think we're going to go with energy. Build E. Build S. Right, you are fully done. Hasselhofster is a energy planet, technically. Uh, you need to be cleared. This is definitely a science lab. Because I don't have the alien creature thing if that still exists, I don't know. Right, you are going to be the control center. Post. Uh, power plant. Uplink node. And power. Sure. Ben McMahon's currently flagged as an M, or you're changing to an E. Nimble's done. You're not. You have loads of upgrades. Do do. Which means you've got the next level of government, which means I can add in, for example, a energy grid. 
There's going to be enough energy produced here that I think it's worthwhile. And you could also have a do, 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 mineral processing, because this is definitely going to be a mineral hub. I think we may as well just go and lay that out now. Do we want a war factory? I don't think we do. Shield generator, though. No, this is so far into my land that if I lose this, then more things have gone wrong. Finding a ring world. That couldn't possibly go wrong. And then here. This is still being upgraded, I believe. Where's your headquarters? There. Still a deployment post, still waiting for that upgrade, so we're not going to touch you. You need to be an E. You are looking all good. Marvellous. Without permission. Same thing. Same thing. Mistook mineral for energy. Eh. It achieved its purpose in getting me the stuff that I needed at the time that I needed. Uh, you're all done. Zach Barnett. You're all done. The bag mat needs another. Whoops. Energy. You seem to be all done. Control centers there. And you are also all done. Alright, good. Now, how much would it be to turn this into a machine world? 10,000 energy. Interesting. So when I start getting a surplus of energy, I can start doing that. Can I do that to a ring world? No. You cannot terraform ring worlds. You can terraform everything else, though. 